Hello everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Telegraph Herald More Than The Score. I'm your host Steve Ortman, alongside me this week, Tim O'Neill. Hello. Ah, exuberant as always. Well anyway, this is a very special Hempstead Senior Edition of More Than The Score, because a couple of big things happened this past week involving both of those schools. We're going to start off on the football side of things. Hempstead and Senior had a great, great city matchup on the gridiron last Friday night. Absolutely, Steve. And fittingly, a trophy was on the line, too, and, and Hempstead got that A.Y. McDonald trophy back with a 26-20 victory over Dubuque Senior. But this was a back-and-forth game, and on the first play of the game, Dubuque Senior went deep to Noah, Noah Gherkin for a 64-yard touchdown pass. And at that point, it kind of seemed like maybe Senior was going to Going to have their way with the Mustangs in this one, but the Mustangs answered back Chase Sabres with the first of his two rushing touchdowns. He finished with 151 yards on the ground, and the Mustangs and Rams went into the break tied at 14. Senior came out in the second half, got a, got a touchdown, and then it was all Hempstead after that, including after a weather delay, they needed just two plays to score the go-ahead touchdown, and the Mustangs, this was a huge one they needed. They had lost four straight. And for senior, it was a tough one because uh, they had played well in the past few weeks, but just came up a little short against the Mustangs. All right, it was a, it was a great back and forth ball game there, though uh, overall. And, and these two teams both hungry to get that win. What do you think ultimately was the the bottom line key that allowed the Mustangs to pull this one out? What it well, boiled down to? Well, they played really well on defense and, and really kind of bottled up the senior run game. Uh, Hempstead has played well defensively most of the year. Um, and, and offensively, they made enough plays to, to get it done. All right. Well, uh, good matchup there. Then you turn the attention to cross country. The Hempstead and senior cross country teams came up with some big championship victories last week at the MVC Super Meet down in Cedar Rapids. The Hempstead boys won their second MVC championship in the last three years. And the Dubuque senior girls won their first ever MVC championship. These teams have both had fantastic seasons and then it paid off down there at the super meet you're talking at mississippi valley conference you're talking some of the best competition in the state and a very unique thing as well for both of these teams as both senior girls and hempstead boys they actually swept the entire mvc championship races they won uh, all both programs won the freshman sophomore race the jv race and the varsity races swept them top to bottom Big wins for Hempstead Senior. These are two programs certainly looking like they're going to do some damage when it comes to the postseason races as well as down at the state cross-country meet. Looking at how these teams perform now at the Super Meet, I have a good memory, Tim, but when it comes to trying to remember like 10 kids' times at the Super Meet, I have to break out the sheet, okay? So I'm sorry. I'm going to look down and read some times. Don't judge. Okay, I was mentally and physically prepared for this episode, but I just couldn't remember all the times, okay? More excuses. Anyways, it's not about me, it's about the kids. So here we go. Hempstead boys, down at that super meet, they uh, landed all five of their runners in the top 13. Ben Hermiston led the way with a fifth place, 16-22. And the Mustangs kind of like to use that pack mentality. Ryan Winger was sixth at 16-28. David Holsinger was 7th in 1630. Mason Suarez was 12th at 1655. And Matt Schatz was 13th at 1656. I hope I said their names right. You probably did not. I'm sorry if I, if I mispronounce anybody's names. But anyways, it's been a great year for Amsterdam boys. It paid off with a great win there. And same for the senior girls. You look at what they did. Claire Edmondson was 3rd with 18.45 for a time. She's been having a fantastic season for the Rams. Big reason why they've been having a great year. So uh, she led the way for the Rams down at the Super Meet. Who else was there for the Dubuque Senior Rams? Lillian Schmidt was right behind Edmondson in fourth place in 18.54. Izzy Gorton was 15th in 20 minutes on the dot. Ashley Donovan was 30th in 2020. And Olivia Cruz rounded the score in 38th place with a time of 20-37. Great seasons there. And great wins for the Hempstead and Senior cross-country teams. Monumental. You understand, Tim, what it means for a cross-country program to sweep the MVC? We're talking about the youngsters to the veterans. They swept it. Woo! 
Yep, that's pretty big. Pretty big. So congratulations big. to the senior girls, Hempstead boys. Big wins there, and they're going to look to keep that momentum rolling here as we get down to the home stretch of the cross country season. That's it. That's all I got. What we got this weekend for football? Well, we're getting close to the, the end of the regular season. Got a big one here in the city coming up. A couple of teams that have had some struggles this season, both looking for their first win. Mm -hmm. Makokota at Wallert at the Rock Bowl should be a good one. One of those teams is finally going to break through into the win column. And then over at Delzell, Hempstead will be playing host to Cedar Rapids. Jefferson looking for its second straight win. And then out in Epworth, Western Dubuque playing host to Marion, trying to bounce back from a loss to top ranks Cedar Rapids Xavier and try and get back into the uh, the thick of the playoff race. They're still in it, but uh, a, a win the last two weeks would, would be huge for them to, to solidify that spot. Now, uh, hopefully they don't tie. They don't do ties, do they? They do not. This is not the that's NFL. Good. That's good. There that's will good. not be a tie. Okay, there. That's, that's been annoying for a lot of NFL fans. Anyways, I'm going up to Edgewood. Maybe going to make a little pit stop at the famous Edgewood Meat Locker as well. Pick up some, some delicious cured meats, maybe, before going to see the Vikings play a little football. Friday night against MFL Marmac. Vikings have won six in a row. They're ranked number six in Class A. They are in the driver's seat to win a district championship. So we're going to go take a look at see what the Vikings are cooking up there in Edgewood this Friday night. So we're going to have all that covered for you at TelegraphHerald.com as well as in the print edition on Saturday. That's going to do it for this week's edition of Telegraph Herald More Than The Score. I am your host Steve Orman alongside Tim O'Neill. We will see you next week.